it is a Sunday. The good old days of Sundays. And you all know what happens on Sundays, huh? It's Creative Sundays, where I create stuff. And also rage quit because my Bluetooth device, my Bluetooth controller kept disconnecting again. <laughs> but come everyone, to Creative Sundays. Where we all rage quit because Windows is drunk and does not want to connect my, uh, my Bluetooth controller, so let's open the Bluetooth window. Of course, also hello Willis. Welcome to this stream. Um, hopefully it's not gonna be as chaotic as last time. I mean, last Friday it was kind of, uh, kind of expected. <laughs> yeah, random games last Friday, it was pretty fun. But today, let's do it a bit more chill and, uh, make stuff. Hi, Abdul. Hi, you Willis. Hopefully you're good. In terms of, like, creating things... <laughs> I hope take this kid looks sick. Yeah, listen, I've not seen it yet. I've seen the preview, but I've not seen the final version, and I'm gonna open that now. <laughs> So for those who don't know, um, I, I, I play Trackmania. I usually play United, but sometimes I go to the 2020 version. And yeah, of, of course, I want a custom skin. I would have made it myself. But uh, yeah, uh, Mystery Gamer right here in the chat. And a contact. And knows a contact who makes skins. And I contact the post. Why not try to make a skin for me? I have not seen it yet. As I said, I've just seen the preview. So, let me see. Like, uh, just the preview, it already looked sick. So now I'm really wondering how the, um... The final version is gonna look like. Okay, so let's take a look, shall we? Yeah, I can still nice on it also so you're gonna try to see it. Yeah, for sure I'm gonna do that. Um So let's go to Create Garage. So that's my current skin. Which a little more the boring side, I'll say. So that's the that's the one I made. And that's that's the one I have currently. I'm really wondering how the, the other skin's gonna look like. Now, I can't upload the skin without club, but I can apply it by saving on top of the Canadian car. Which is my region. But yeah, let's see how that looks like. Holy guacamole! <laughs> What in the heck? That is... Beautiful. <laughs> I like the little... <laughs> I've got the Monday's logo there. Let me take a closer look, side. I know that's my Avigen head. That's the ear of the Avigen. That's like an actual clever use. Bird logo. Built-in rendering device or built-in rendering built-in robotic drone. What would be the actual name for this car? The built-in robotic driver? I don't know. Oh, even the seat belts are colored. That's sick. Nice. That's beautiful. <laughs> nice. Well, let's let's take it in game, shall we? So let me export on top of the Canadian car here. Let's export on top of that and go back. 
It's not it's exploded on top. Okay. I'm going to uh, swap uh, the music first because, yeah, I've got like chill music right now in the playlist. But uh, yeah, that's not going to be chill to try and drive it. So let me just quickly swap to the active playlist. Where's my active playlist? There. Okay, well, let's take a look. Okay, let me go back to uh, go back to some tracks I need to finish here. I have this will have removed custom light or not. Let's hope not. Ooh, okay, I might need to restart the game actually. I think I'm gonna have to restart. <laughs> Let me restart the game. Uh, blah. Where is it? Come on, Epic Games Launcher. And track me. Go. Open. There it is. I grab you beast I got it off Epic, yeah. I already had the Epic launcher and I don't really use the beast stuff one. Okay, let's see. Well, it should work. Like it worked last time. There it is. Okay, is that a way to enable like a free cam? Ah, there it is. Hmm. Yeah, light seems to be like dead. I don't see lights. Yeah. I would need custom. I would need the club access. But you know, with me and hating like subscription models, I guess that's fair. But it still looks sick nonetheless. <laughs> Like, it still looks really cool. It still looks really cool. Eh, uh, Okay, I've got a bit of lag here. <laughs> I do like the skin though, even like that. Ow! <laughs> yeah, maybe. Or I just. Or I just say screw it and I get the club access. I don't know. Landing. No. Does look sick. Uh, 
Yeah, let me go to the stream and see quick. There we go. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Thank you, thank you. I'm looking good, I bet you. Okay, I'm gonna pop uh, Discord just to see what the mystery game has to show here. Alrighty. Well, I mean, as you probably see, my uh, club has some new things. I I <laughs> yeah, you mind if I show your stream, your uh, screen on my stream? I don't care. Okay. Okay then. It, it'll probably just be laggy, but and the lag would probably be from me, if anything. Yeah, most probably. Uh, where's Oh, that's lovely. Track me is already in our spot, thing. Yes! <laughs> yeah, Rock Valley Grass. I literally just finished making it like half an hour ago, if that. I am with the lights. There's also the lights on the wheels and the walk Oh, back. sick! Don't oh, handle on there. It's hard, it's hard to get the side angle on it. Yeah, with like United Forever, you could go in free cam and still control your car. Yeah. But here, I don't think yeah. you can. But yeah, there's the custom lights on the bottom there, on here. Yeah, that's sick. They, they did an excellent job on this. Too bad I can't have the lights, though. Because yeah. Ubisoft. <laughs> yeah, and then you see the custom lights around the wheels, too. Yeah, that's sick. That's am amazing. <laughs> yeah. And... I I made this half an hour ago and I set a strong color and now I can't drive it. Oh Jesus. Well <laughs> oh, it, this seems like a you thing to do. <laughs> you do something really well and then half an hour later do horrible. <laughs> It's definitely a cool map, so. Of course, having enough speed there would help. And now, in typical bird fashion, I'm gonna take flight. Whee! Nice. Yeah. yeah. Let's actually see if I can. Uh... And then I also got rock climbing. The first map has three hidden checkpoints. And then that the second one's just really dark, and this one could be a bit confusing where the finish is. So. Yeah. And then, I had my cup yesterday, so now all these rooms are live. Not oh, nice. They're, like, public. So, anyone can play them now. Nice. Yeah. Maybe nice. Oh, it doesn't show the time on 10. Well. Because <laughs> Oda, Oda is set a really strong time on track 10, but... Huh. Uh. No death aids. Really nice. Anyway. 
I'm fucking with my skin now. Hey. <laughs> I put it on to show off yours, but to keep with my purple colors and everything, I'm switching back to mine. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, I'll, also you always refer them as like your contact, but do they want to get like shouted out on the stream or like? No, they didn't say anything. They wanted I think They just enjoy making skins because it gives them something cool. different than what they have been doing. Yeah, they, <laughs> they did a great job. Well, they've been making like different colors of the same skin and they've done it like six or seven times now so when I gave him my skin he's like yeah I'll do that don't worry about price or anything because it gives me something different to do and he said pretty much the same thing to yours so <laughs> but even without the custom light, it's pretty cool. Like, I still wonder yeah. if it's possible to have it um, ported to um, TMNF. But you if can not, try. I don't know what files that requires. Though. I think it's like from what I've seen, it's like a diffuse and an icon. I like there's don't. not much I think can do it um, united in terms of details, but it's just like it's a different UV map, that's for sure though. <laughs> also, yeah. Hello Colonel. I see you redeemed the ice team. So can I get a good job my core? <laughs> I got a kind of ice, you ready? All right, moment of silence, please. <laughs> ah, refreshing. <laughs> 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 And a good old drink the iced tea can. <laughs> Thank you for the red key reminder. I mean, I got two liter Coca Cola. Coca Cola? I'm probably about half done and I've uh, been drinking it since like 10 o'clock this morning. Yeah. I've also probably had about a two liter pop every day since like Monday. Oh. <laughs> so, probably not the healthiest choice, but. Probably not, no. Just a little bit of a humor of the music because it's a little loud. Alright. See, can I upgrade to. Club access is so expensive though. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, as I said, I bought the three years of it, so. Because in three years, Trackman is either going to be dead, a new game's going to come out, or it's just not going to be fun at that point. Yeah. So. Still sucks though. <laughs> that is subscription yeah. based. Yeah. But yeah, 
like the three years you're getting one year free, pretty much. But yeah. still, oh. you're, it's like you're paying that the. And, hmm? I said that, and as I said, after like three years, track moon is probably going to be dead. Or near dead, anyways, because a lot of people are must have switched to a new game, yada yada yada. I mean, it's be just... a new track mania game or something like that. I mean, you know, even like Nations Forever is still very competitive to this day. Yeah, but there's not as many people playing it as there probably was when it first came out. Yeah, probably not, but it's still like a good amount of people on the servers. Like, there's still a lot of servers up. Yeah, fair. Wait, you're getting United Forever is like one year, like the same price as the one year, even cheaper than the one year of um, 2020, and you're getting it for ever, pretty much. Yeah. With like custom skins and upload skins and everything. I think if you get the club, then you could have the custom lights also. Yeah, but just for custom lights. <laughs> <laughs> it is all up to you. But I did make like a recent purchase as well, so um, I think I'm gonna save a little for now. Well, that's fair. But yeah. I just... <laughs> No. Hmm? Sorry, I'm looking through club campaigns. The winter 2022, there's reverse, meaning the start and finish are swapped. Yeah, some club campaigns like that are very interesting to try out. Um, <sighs> I'm not trying any of these. I'm, I want to just try the first one. Yeah, try it. Like, today is not like gaming day, so I won't stay on Trackmania for a long time. Like, I'm already no, out of the game. But, uh, I, uh, I understand that. You hopped on to check out your skin. Yeah, it looks really nice. sick. Like, they did a great job, as I said. Now, if, only, if only this was not a subscription based thing, I would have good the custom lights. <laughs> yeah. That sucks, but uh, yeah, no. uh, I'm happy with his work. It still looks cool nonetheless, even without the custom lights. Look, look at my Discord stream. Look at the very first thing you see it's floating in. But eight years old. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, uh. Well, then I, I might, I could play that soon. Uh, I might play in my free time. I think like next Friday I want to take it a bit more chill. I've played a lot of active games. I think I'm going to take more chill with like maybe Satisfactory on Friday. This week, so. I'll see. Anyway, it's Creative Sundays now. So, and yes, I, I know Colonel. Uh, uh, everyone's calling me cute these past few days. <laughs> But yeah, Creative Sundays, it's time to make some stuff, so... <laughs> Mystery Gamer just getting yeeted. <laughs> Whee! Off the tracks! <laughs> okay, let me start a poll, I guess. Ooh, poll. I want to come vote, just even though I'm sitting in a voice chat with you. What do y'all want to see? Okay. Let's see what I can think of. Um, maybe you want to achieve out. That could be done. Um, Track me, yes. I'm so busy with the Avision, I swear. I want to work on it, but I've got the Avatar Monday series <laughs> for it. Um, I'm still gonna put um, that. Uh, maybe 
maybe you have your bonus work. There. Uh, so Twitch, you Twitch emote, what else? Um, what could be made? That is not a region. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, huh. I'm thinking. I'm gonna make another F1 map. I did that. I'm gonna put this here. What else? Uh, hmm. Your last creative Sunday, didn't you just do Scrum Mechanic? Yeah, because people voted for it. <laughs> In the poll. <laughs> that was like, well, I did not expect that either. <laughs> well, I mean, I was one of the people who voted Scrum Mechanic. <laughs> no, also, not, not one I'm of the people. Like Everyone voted for that. <laughs> Everyone voted for Scrap. <laughs> Nothing wanted to do any of the other ones. Only Scrap. Hey, I'm a gamer. I like seeing games. <laughs> what can I say? Fair enough, and I'm a game dev. Exactly. In your world, it's Evigen is sick. I'm like, I'm so tempted to work on it now, but I swear, but it is just like, dang, I have a Monday series for it, but I just don't want to work on it so bad. <laughs> so, um, I'm still putting it in the poll, for sure, if people want to see that, but, uh, yeah, let me think of other things. Um, leave, it, leave it to the people and you shall be disappointed. Yes. <laughs> I, am, I, I shall always be disappointed. <laughs> um let's go stream okay, have an emote. Um uh, oh, no. I'm gonna run with those three, I think. I really don't know. Bam! Okay, so uh, I'm proposing three things. Do you want a new Twitch emote? Do you want maybe making music? Mm. Or are you do you want to maybe see me working a bit more in the Avi Gen? Because yeah, I well, can't stop putting what, the Avi Gen. I was gonna say looking at the poll, I think it's already confirmed. I mean you do have six viewers though, so God damn it! <laughs> well then, <laughs> well the, the six viewers and three votes for the Avigen. Well, <laughs> it, it could be three votes on something else yet. So, I mean, it could be tied, but yeah, I, I, I think that's just that's what's gonna be happening I guess tonight but also I guess it's uh it's fitting because uh usually on Mondays um I can stream for a little longer than Sunday and Tuesday because the next day meaning Tuesday I work remotely usually so I can prolong the stream a little bit longer but I got called in for Monday uh for Monday for Tuesday so I'm gonna have to cut the stream off a little bit already tomorrow so I think Ooh. it's fitting that I get that time I lost yesterday, uh, yesterday, tomorrow, that time I'm gonna lose tomorrow, we'll get it back today. I think it kinda makes sense, yeah. Oh, bet, yeah. So... And I guess that's gonna be in the playlist of Avatar Mondays, but that's a little bonus. I agree for an HD. Thanks, Alf. Thanks, uh, Alice.
<laughs> yeah, less than a minute left to the poll, and yeah, it hasn't budged. Well, I guess it's gonna be Avian work. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, isn't that what you wanted? I mean, that's what I wanted, but... Dang, I would have a series on Mondays. <laughs> well, I guess you're getting double this week. Yeah, double Avian work. Yeah, exactly. And, yeah, I guess you're gonna see my current progress on it. As well. Oh, well, someone voted for the emote. <laughs> but I think it's too late. I think Abby just gonna win. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Maybe just a little bit. Just, just by a little, just a little bit. Just a wee little bit. A little, little bit. Yeah. Uh, have you seen my Abby gen? Like, have you seen, like, my price or any, anything on the model? I don't think so. Cause ye, um, I had like, then I again, guess, yeah. I was gonna say that again, I don't really pay attention to that, so. Fair enough. <laughs> I'm not picking now. <laughs> I'm not fully farming ICT. Everyone here is farming ICT as long as in the chat. <laughs> anyway, so, a uh, bonus FGN work, so. That's gonna be in the playlist, I'm guessing. I think it's dead. No, no, stop! <laughs> stop drowning me, nice to you, people! <laughs> well, then. So, bonus if didn't work. Uh, there's also some regular hydrates, I just noticed. Everything. <laughs> Sad, but. Alright, so, Abigen. Um, so, versus last week, I've made a lot of progress in hosting you. You hosting me? Oh, I guess the notification did not go through. How curious. I will be right back. I BAB. Yes, big BRB. BAB. <laughs> Wait, if you're hosting. Yeah, did not the uh... what the heck? What the heck is this? <laughs> the third Twitch. What did you do? What? What is Twitch doing? Oh, that's curious. What that? What? I did not know you could actually right click in the chat, that's curious. Like, in the like, stream manager, right click and have actions on the users, I did not know that. I want to get to the link of this actually, ah oh, yeah, that's gonna work. Uh, that's gonna work. Are you actually hosting me? Ah oh, yeah, you are, okay, well then. <laughs> yeah, I did not go through for some reason, well then. That we hang to each other. Can I speak? <laughs> so yeah, Vijen. I have done progress since last week. And I have some hey, good news. I have completely deleted the sketches. Because the model is now complete. <laughs> The model of the Avigen is complete. Like it's probably missing just maybe one thing. Um like the mouth, but it's complete. The the model itself, not the textures, not the UVs, not the weight painting, not the rigs. Um but it's complete. And this is how it looks like. Uh deck, thank you. There it is. The Abigen. <laughs> Company with a lot of things. The visor with properly working screens. 
the chess piece with properly working screens. End screen there. Arms connected via laser beams. Down there. Everything, the leggies are connected via laser beams again. The tail connected mechanically with feathers. Legs have their own little bolt there to spin everything. I know I'm lagging, but that's because it's trying to render Eevee at the same time. <laughs> then the talons, all mechanical with some beams. I'm back. Welcome back. And finally, the arms, which is the new part since last week. The shoulder piece. Connected to an arm. There's so there should be some like fluff here, but I did not like it, so I to maybe remake it or find another way to do it. Maybe via texture or something. The hands, which are also like talon like. And the wings. Which are connected via that thing here. Which can also fold. I have the idea on how to fold it. Ideas don't mean that they work. I've done a, a technical test by moving the vertices, and it seems to work quite well. I've made so many avatars that I think I know how it works, and what can work and what can't. <laughs> Wait, that is the Avigen. At least a model. And it clocks in I at approximately 53.1k polys. So, decently high poly, but if you want to use it for like cinematics, the entire thing is subdivision ready. Sorry, what? I, I kind of... Stop paying attention. If you want to use it, like, like this is the version for the games and stuff. Like, if you want to go to VR chat, Neil's, uh, 53.1k polys, that's going to be approximately how many polys they're going to be. Maybe a bit more if I include the mouth. But if you want to do cinematics, um, you have the option to actually go to each of the things. Um, I might combine everything into one uh, in the future, but. You can go in and subdivide everything using subdivision surfaces. Like this, like that, that, and like that. And there you go. Now there is a high poly version. Very high poly version. Looking pretty smooth. As you can see here. But this is like more for cinematics. But uh, yeah, you can toggle it on if you want. Why do I feel like I hit a protein armory and made this dear con my eyes? <laughs> the protein armory. Yeah, the birds have invaded the protein armory and stole loads of things and made do did some research re backwards in engineering and reverse engineered their own thing. <laughs> I still need to think of proper lore for this, but. Uh, Yeah, this is the Avigen. And you can also call it a proto chicken. Yes, technically. <laughs> Proper digi, digi legs. Um, unfortunately, no. Uh, I wanted to find a way, like a compromise between something that looks looks itchy great, but can also work in multiple circumstances. 
and can be integrated in other things. So I opted for like plenty grade, but with my design, it actually works quite well. Like if you take a quick look, I can quickly select these here. And this, it bends like that. So it's not easy grade, but it's a design that works. Go finish watching Kingsman, but have a good day or day. Well, good, good day, night fan to him. Have a good watch. But yeah, that's the design of the leg. How, that's how it's gonna work. Um, and I'm still happy with how it looks. And yeah, that with that design, it's gonna be easily integratable with um, things like the Unity system and other games, because. To do the digital grid system in VR chat, you need like loads of constraints, and you know, and you have to know how to exactly do it, and it works. But it causes issue in other games too. Like my system, it causes issues. It might cause issues in other platforms as well, um, unless you like do extra tweaking yourself, and that you have to know how to do that tweaking. I wanted to keep it as simple as possible. Um, but could this be converted into... No, it couldn't be because... No, that wouldn't be convertible. I don't, I don't think, like, to stay, like... Um... How to say it? Logical? I don't know. Me mechanically logical? It cannot be converted into, um... DG. Because of how the knee's made. I mean, you could potentially, because you're going to get the source files, you could potentially mod this part here to add in um, another bearing and make it proper GGT grade. But even that, that's going to be a bit complicated. And the wings. Okay, now I just want to showcase the wings. How I thought uh, of them to fold, because I want like a toggle to actually fold the wings. And it's actually quite uh, clever. So my idea... To fold the wings, let me go in this view so that it's a bit less uh, intense with the eyes. Yeah, my plan for the info. I want to be sure everyone understands how it works. That's why I'm going to have like video tutorials and things like that for the package. So, yeah. Um, anyway. So, how do I plan the wings to fold? Is to get like... All these feathers, I want them to slide this way and then fold to be like all in one here. So they're gonna all be merged like this. And then this whole assembly here will move this way with this bit here as well, which is like a slidey thing. And finally, that feather, like that whole stack of feathers, would actually go inside the thing and uh, shorten a little bit. And that's how the feathers would fill. And there you go, folded. And that whole thing, that whole assembly is gonna stay at the back of um, the elbow. So it's it's gonna follow the elbow and the the um, low arm. That is the plan of how I want the wings to fold. And it can be used as like knives. <laughs> like just a punch knife. <laughs> it's your it's their weapon. <laughs> 
Because all the feathers stack together, it makes it more rigid. And because it's like very sharp, it's gonna blast through anything they, they punch. <laughs> it's a weapon. <laughs> But yeah, wings. That's how they're gonna fold. There you go. Out of any mode. There you go. So there's a the plan. And since last week, so as you saw, I finished, I made and finished the arms. And I also started working on the, let me just do this. The armature. I've placed down the bones, but I cannot actually weight them yet. Because I need to um, apply the mirror, I think, first. But, uh, yeah, the texturing work is going to take quite a bit. Like, to apply the mirror, I first want to finish the uh, the seams and the, like, so that the UV unwrap can be as easy as possible. But, uh... Yeah. <laughs> That's how it works. That is the plan. But I'm still wondering if I can... I, mean, I could actually place down... I could actually slap the armature on top, I think. Do that, and then a the mirror would actually mirror the... Uh, vertex groups. Because I kind of want to do this, like, I try to start the the seams, like, on the arm first. Like, those very thin red lines. But uh, it's taking quite a bit of time, and I think I'm going to reserve that for uh, Ooh, I Monday. Heard. I heard thing. Who joined? Meet a bird by your side. Oh, hi, Blackout. Hello. Uh, hi. Ah, you were. How was your stream? It was good. It was good. Nice. But now I'm tired and bored. Fair enough. I'm making the ad uh, that people voted for uh, working on the Avigen for some reason. Ah, ha, 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 ha. I mean, it's what he wanted. And now he's complaining that he gets to. Because I have a day on Monday to work on this! <laughs> and why make it the much? I'm and gonna you, turn on my noise reduction. And you know what, Willis? Like, I was thinking of adding some kind of Lumaglow support uh, to this. I was thinking of Lumaglow. I've never worked with Audio Link though. But, uh, yeah, loads of things are going to be possible. Huh, Jack, where can I? This. I mean, possibly my go take a bit of a nap because I kind of feel tired. Why well, then? Nah, you don't need sleep. Sleep's for the week. I'm tired. Sleep is for the week. <laughs> uh, if you want to take a nap, then go take a nap. <laughs> but like, while I'm on, while on my like, computer, um. I've also been playing around with a plugin called Auto Gun on FL Studio. 
Ah, uh, that crow gun. Yeah. Let me do some research quick. Because <laughs> I need to see if I can use a uh, blender here with armature. I want to see if it's possible. What modify with armature? Oh. Oh boy. I... Okay. So gotta place the armature underneath the mirror. So that was fine. With mirror vertex groups. I know why, because there's no vertex groups, that explains it. Um, let me actually take this, place it there, bang, 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 boom, bang, boom, bam. Okay, got this... these. I just made a, like, kind of Formula One track, and it is going to be a pain in the ass. Nice. Let's see. So this should fix groups. Like this should have. Yeah, okay. Actually what? Wrong names. <laughs> okay. Like, I did the amateur quick, but I still need to check some of the names. I think some of the names are wrong. And I'm still missing some things. And why is it... Again, a little bit. Is there some type of fight or something? No. Oh, well, Bando crashed. <laughs> it just closed. <laughs> Oops. That's a big oof. Gavarado save. Yeah, I'm gonna go take a nap, so BRB. Bye bye. Later. It's, it's a BRB, by the way. I heard. <laughs> oh, ah, the, the auto save with. So, tell. Let me become another auto save. A bit older. Yeah, I have to work with this one. Dang it. Um, that sucks. Then you kill the parent and redo. Oliver takes moves. 
Uh, delete all groups. Yes. Delete all groups. There you go. A bit of uh, clean up here. There you go. There you go. Okay. Uh, yeah, let me see the armature first. Why is it taking that long with my... Right click. Eh? Why is it taking that long? Huh. Okay. Uh, anyway, I need to rename these here. I thought I renamed these. Just, no way, I renamed these. There's like some bones I did not rename. Why? No, okay, I'm gonna have to redo the, the thing. That explains why the mayor did not work. Because these ones did not rename properly. Like, I had the mayor previously, but it didn't seem to. I don't think it did anything. Let me try the mayor again. Uh, oh, oh, nice room. Uh, symmetrize. Aha! That's the one I wanted. Symmetrize. Alright. Good. So, let's see if I can... This is very uh, trippy because I'm sitting in a VC with you, Mike, but I'm watching another stream right now, so I'm hearing like two different things at the same time, oh. and I'm confusing myself. Confusing? Well, that's right. Good. good. <laughs> Watch everyone. <laughs> that's how we do it. Um... Arm lower. Which one is that? Oh, did I forget you? Wait, no. I did forget. No. Ah, uh, these. Ah, that explains it. Found a corporates. Before symmetrizing, I want to do this here. So. Connector dot L. Wing rating. Uh, that's going to be the second one. And that's going to be the first one. Let me see if there's any other missing name. Yep, there's one there. <laughs> Ill one <laughs> was not renamed. Okay. Okay, the rest seems fine. Yeah, the rest is good. Good. Nice. But yeah, for audio link, I'm gonna watch. I'm probably gonna see some tutorials later down the line. Ah, uh, some tries. All right. That should be good. 
Did anything, I think. Yeah, I did. Hi. Hi. Let's try again, the Rancher. This time it should work. Uh, with empty groups. Let's see. The one side, it should do the other. Yep, yeah, okay, good. One side, other side. Good. Where are you going to find the mirror? Amazing! I just want to be sure that this is on top of the subdiv. And actually, I'm missing a couple bones still. I'm missing the ones for these feathers here. Missing these ones here. Uh, take this end, take this end. Uh, yeah, I think that's going to make it easier if I do this. That's going to be one heck of a renaming process. Sure. <laughs> Oh boy. Here, all right. And this I can place here. It would be easier to place it there, but. <laughs> what the resub? <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> thank, you. thank you for the resub. What a fun month. Welcome back to the dead birds. I just... <laughs> I was focused on this and then... <laughs> resub. <laughs> oh, and of, of course. Of course. Of course. Yeah, of course. Thank God you for the reminder. <laughs> How are you doing? Hopefully you're doing good. This, I think it should be good. Uh, thank, thank, thank you for the beat these two. Uh, again. I said twice. <laughs> Thrice. Ah, nice. <laughs> nice. Hey, 
Hey, why did you not show? There you go. Nice. <laughs> okay, so it's not a big webcam then. But <laughs> nice. <laughs> I thought it was on my big cam. I guess not. <laughs> so thank, thank you, I have to be 269 VTs. Very nice. All right, uh, hey, you want to take this, like, when to do that? Nope. I need this one. When to, sorry, there you go, 10 degrees. All I have to say is I didn't do it. But <laughs> you didn't, you didn't do it. No, you didn't do it, no. <laughs> what didn't you do? Exactly. <laughs> Welcome. Hit hit a stream. The bonus avigen stream. Uh, okay, I might resymmetrize the entire arm. At this point. Uh, okay, so... Hmm. Yeah, I'll gonna be parented to the main connector. So all of these connect to the main connector here. Keep off that. There you go. If that way, I'll be able to move what animating? Move this over there. Move this here. Move this here. And we'll take all of these to uh, face that direction here. All the feathers. Doing these ones. Uh, which I need to move to that point. And I don't need this one too. All the way over here. And then this, this way. And then this thingy. Down there. Here. Actually this. Here. And there you go, now everything should be stacked. That should work. That should work. Okay, so time to white paint that stuff. Uh, wait, no, for a sec. Did I symmetrize? I don't think I symmetrized. I, I also need to rename the bones. Eh, need to rename them. So this one is already named, I think. Yep. Yep. All right. So time to rename all these bones. Wing feather. One dot L. Oh, but there's so many of them. Two. Three. Four. Five. This one. Six. 
Kevin. Sounds like you're having fun. E. Listen, I feel like this is a bit more fun than uh, the UV unwrapping of this whole thing. Because <laughs> that's going to make the character move. So 11 feathers total. That's a lot of feathers for the wings. So let me re the entire arm. Symmetrize. There you go. Names are correct. And these are the little extra feathers I was talking earlier that I show back in, but it's like fine, but I feel like I could do better than that. For now, white painting. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. I wanna get this. I don't know why my mouse is like flickering like that. I don't know if it shows on stream too. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> like, I know I can do it. I have to do it at one point. It's just gonna suck. <laughs> and that is why for now I think I'm gonna do a uh, wiping instead. Because I feel like that's gonna take a little less time than the UV unwrap. Since most things are mechanical anyway, there's not much like bending except for the fingers and maybe the hair. But the rest is like fully mechanical, so it's like Boolean 0 1. Does it bend or does it not? <laughs> so that's why I'm gonna keep it too. Wait, painting. So this here, this bone, will have these. There you go. There you go. That's the main one thing done here. And the other side should be done automatically because of the mirror modifier. Yep. Alright, and uh, all right. Oop. All right. And now this whole thing can slide like that. If you take a look. The whole mechanism is gonna move like that. Like that. Like that. And that's how it's gonna fold. Nice. <laughs> I'm really curious to see how like, the feathers are gonna fold and everything. I might do like a parent. Hmm. I'm wondering. I might keep it like that for now. Yeah, pretty much. It, it just folds like that. I mean, you're gonna see it when I'm gonna be done with the uh, other feathers too. It's gonna be a bit better viewed. I gotta wipe in all of these with a beggar song. Alright, move that one up. Oh boy. <laughs> 
you go. There 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 you go. And that's that's a cool little pattern there. <laughs> Staircase to heaven. <laughs> Staircase to heaven. <laughs> All right, let's wait. Paint this. Let the pain work start. Right. All right. There and there. So one feather then. Oh boy. Uh, ten more to go. Oh. Nine more. Eight more. <laughs> Guess what? What? I have 106 hours in Creator on Trackmania, but I have 112 maps created. <laughs> One map per hour, almost. <laughs> More than that. More, well, yeah. I... <laughs> Speed mapping. Out... Yeah, well, I'm pumping out pretty much a map and a quarter or so, map and an eighth per hour. <laughs> This is what happens when I get bored. Is I start doing outrageous things. Why did we go to site now? Ah, oh, it, it, it did not copy the verdict. I didn't do those points and I have to get the vertex points. Well, redo them. <laughs> oh, Time to add these vertex groups. Oh, they can I? Their parent. And then reparent it with empty groups. It overrides these ones. No, it did not. Ha, huh, that's, that's very interesting. So in theory, this should not uh, mess up. Theory. Nope. All right. One side. Other side. All right. Let's restart those feathers. Eat. 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 There we go. There we go. Yeah. There we go. 
start moving and I'm full speed. There we go. Be gone, black borders. Right, uh, next feather is this one. The reason the shape is a little weird on those feathers, I might adjust the shape later. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna adjust the shape a little bit better <laughs> later. Like those small tweaks can be done uh, later on the line. Cause it's so minor that it doesn't need like a complete re-unwrap or repaint. You just like moving vertices like slightly. There you go. Alright. So all of these should be painted. Same with that side. All right, so I can move them back where they belong. Like this. Now all of these feathers should be weight painted and working. Uh, let me display this, these as like sticks. Yep. So the idea is you fold the wings. Move them like that. This is gonna slide this way still. This is gonna slide over here. It's gonna fold like this, like this, like this, like this, like this, and like this. Oh, and there Ooh. goes Blackout. There goes Blackout. <laughs> so all that way. And this whole assembly here. Move this way. Like this. This whole thing will move that way. Maybe shrink down a little bit vertically so that it doesn't clip. That will move down a little bit. And then shrink.
And then the shorter feathers will like shrink horizontally too. Wait, there's a principle on uh Holding those wings. Proof of concept. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> Proof of concept. That's gonna look sick when the actual animation is gonna be done. <laughs> Man, very happy with how that turned out. Like, I had like some other design ideas for this. Like, if you look at the sketches, like, you can kind of see like the back. There's actually something behind there, like stuck to the arm. But I had to figure out how to actually fold the wings too. And I figured out, you know what? Having a railing and then something that floats here. But maybe that's a better idea. Oh, you know what could be done? Uh, actually, maybe not. That could be Like, other idea on how this entire thing could fold. Other idea is instead of, of going like this way. Instead of going this way, it actually folds this way. It's like, pull these. Back to the fold position, which I now have to go and replace. Place again. Oh boy. Like that. And other idea would be like it goes in there as usual. It goes in there as usual, but it first is gonna shrink this way as per usual. But also it could potentially like fling around this whole thing. Like, it flings around like this to be here instead. Like, it could also fold like this. Potentially. I did not think of that second, though. Like, I did not think of that second option. But I think it's nice as well. I'm gonna have to think about because that that will require to actually swap some uh, ear key stuff. In, like, the parenting of the bones. Yeah, it does look very tucked away as well. Like, the other one could be used as like some kind of like maybe weapon. This one is like the tucked away version. Like you have one of these. I 
Like, can you do the two variation on the two separate wings? <laughs> Brainstorming live. <laughs> Some ideas. Love it. So there are two variations of the fold, so one can be used as some kind of weapon, the other one can be used as just to be tucked. Yeah, both worked, I'm surprised, like, my first idea was this one, but this one? Like, having the actual, like, thing working and being able to play with it, I did not imagine this to work. Like, especially if you take, like, these ones here and you shrink them like to be semi-hidden and rotate it a little bit as well. But yeah, definitely. Both work, I'm surprised. I'm actually surprised bullet work. Surprising here. Well then, I guess I got my ideas. Yeah, I could like make both animations separately and then the user can choose to have one or the other. Or if I can manage to fit them both. Actually, I could fit them both. Like I use one int in VRC. To actually like if it's like zero it's reset if it's one it's the tucked away if it's two it's the weapon so that could be cool and i could maybe make it a way that you could only fold the left or the right one like fold both of them separately like that's what I have on my avatar here. I have like an int. If it's like one, left is folded. If it's two, right is folded. If it's three, both are folded. If it's zero, they're unfolded. So I could find a, a similar way here. Okay, so the wings are done and weighted. Uh, let's try the other things. So fingers are gonna take a while. Let's try the legs. Legs are gonna be uh, relatively simple, I think. Because they're mostly mechanical. So it seems the most durable for this stream as well. If I have time, I might do fingies and the rest. Uh, so, this. Um, extract these there you go hmm? is there something there you go Yeah, there. 
Can I please? Oh, wait, right, because I need to apply the uh, what the <laughs> I'm not sure I'm there. Twenty groups. All right. Um, wait, paint. So uh, this one. One. Right, this one seems to. Does that make sense? It does not. Okay. That one. That one. All right. I have time to move them back. Oh, wrong direction. Way. This way. All right. So yeah, these will be pulled to dying bone a little bit from like in this axis there. Because what's fun with dying bones is that you can actually lock the axes, so I can like lock it to be only this way, without like clipping like these ways and make them move only that and maybe I have like some kind of like hydro animation that can maybe move them and what's fun is that of course I could take one And shrink it down. We go through, it wouldn't go through, so that's it's gonna require some extra animation work. But I, it they could be tucked away somehow. Um, but now for the lay, actually, I had to find some kind of compromise because with the design I have, and it's a little oversight on my end when I designed this the center of rotation that I planned, which is like somewhere here. And then there's the um, ankle here. Usually the knee, you want it to be in front so that it bends correctly in games and with IKs and stuff like that. But the knee, with that, if this was the case, so if that bone here was over here, then I don't know if you see the little curve, but now the knee is behind. So that would mean the knee would bend backwards, which is a no-no. So I had to find a compromise. Okay, so where do I place my ankle and where do I place the center of rotation here? And I figured out this seems decent it's not too off center it's a bit sad but it works and why i can't why the knee needs to be at that exact location because that is the exact center of that bolt so i really needed that uh to be like that Uh, but yeah, let's try and weight paint this whole thing. Oh dear. So, I'm gonna take the entire assembly down there. Move it down just to like, hit it. Take that assembly. And move it this way. Oh, I forgot the feathers. Just 
So let's uh, white paint this. Ah, no, right, I don't need the feathers, yeah, I know. Because those are already white painted. Oh crap. Uh, Mike, I was about to respond to you from something the streamer I'm listening to said. <laughs> what? <laughs> You would have been so confused because I would have said something. And you... <laughs> well, then. <laughs> uh. You don't say. <laughs> All right, I need to do the, those very separately too. Dang. as well. Whee! Spin! Spin. There you go. There we go. go there you go all right so this main assembly here should be good Not just missing to wait that bit here. That's gonna be an absolute pain. <laughs> oh boy. Um, because this is a bit more of the organic side of things. But it should still work well. So this bit. This is going to be painted full, including this. But I could make an adjustment, of course, towards the um, front of the leg. Now that's the plan. Let's move this back up. All right. So this works. And I just noticed I forgot the bolt. Yeah, the bolt needs to be painted another way. So let me paint this back to zero. And on this end, paint to one. Like that. There you go. Now it folds perfectly. So how does that fold now? How does the leg behave? It's not too bad. There's some clipping. The leg can split a little bit, which is nice. It's time to take life and shape. Uh, 
Well, we have running poles, like, so, like. I like testing my test with, like, a running pose or something. I mean, to be fair, the tennis are not moving right now because they're not weighted. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Let's, uh, let's sweep in these, I guess. I had these. <laughs> All right. Let's get this rolling down there. So that main... And so this main bit here... Uh, okay, I will be removing the... Where's the option? Uh, front face is only, there you go. Yeah, I'm doing the easiest mechanical parts first. If you're wondering also why I'm not doing like the um, with automatic weights option, that's because I'm pretty sure this would not like work well with my current model here. Pretty sure it would just look extremely weird. And I had to do like a buttload of tweaking because it tends to like smooth things out because it's used to doing organic things. Here like loads of things are mechanical so yeah, that's not the best option, I think. I right, saw so this bit. side I just realized Mike you're pretty much getting a review of the season 2 MCFL tracks ah I'm not watching too much on the side but uh, ee, is it like a popular series or oh I mean the cup that I held yesterday night I had like yeah, I had nine racers, including myself, so. Oh, nice. Yeah, and that was my first time hosting it, too. So, I it was literally just people I could find who had the time. Nice. A congression at successful cup. Indeed. Uh, oh yeah, where is that? There it is. God, this sucks to wait paint. <laughs> Flashbacks to the 
void painting, like, <laughs> void painting meme. Impossible author time and save it. Impossible author time. Well, it's literally like one thousandth of a second for author time. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. Set the impossible author time and save it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Doesn't like impossibleness. People who like getting their medals. <laughs> True. <Yeah. laughs> I already had one person tell me that why is the thing so low? Bruh. <laughs> Uh, like the, the TM community is like they just try uh, like they like trying the impossible. Yeah, there, Mike. Look, look at the author time. Oh, you trick! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> and, and it says it's validated. So, what the heck? <laughs> the ones right here. <laughs> But, you know, it's zero second author time. And there's no way you're getting this done in a second. To do three laps of this in a second, you gotta be doing something. Bruh. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, that's track four of the MCFL. Oh. Mystery. Mystery Cup, Mystery Cup Formula League. Mystery Cup. <laughs> Club, yeah. Mystery Tired. Cup, good one. <laughs> Mystery Club Formula League. You have constant fragile. <clears throat> so hitting one corner bad once can destroy your entire race. How, how to make people hate you? Just make it fully, like, fragile. <laughs> Just make it full See, fragile. I, race. I had Freezer, Odaz, and, like, a whole bunch of other... And, like, the other, like, six or seven people play it. And they all liked it. Yeah, I had a challenge. <laughs> and they liked it because it's different than... It's a uh, normal Formula League or anything like that. Right. Anyways, I'm adding water to this track now. Good old water. Yep. So every so often I'm going to force you to drive through a dip of water. So it keeps your tires wet. You know, it's not just us that we get. We have to stay hydrated. You have to hydrate your tracks and your cars as well. <laughs> stay hydrated. <laughs> I 
inside there to finish the painting. Man, I, I enjoy this making stuff too much. <laughs> okay, I guess I'm gonna idle in your stream now. You can idle. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna lurk in your stream. Because the streamer I was watching decided to end. Aww. Sedge. Badge for me. Good for you. Because now you get my view. Eee. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> you get my view and company. Eee. The win-win scenario. Yep. How would I do whether this misses? Okay, did the main bit. Now I have to do this here. Hmm. We need to find a water block that can overlay nicely on that. I. <laughs> Yeah, it's not that. I could feel the lag on that. side well then F <laughs> uh, is this bit I oh, said to Okay, so I found a water block that lays nicely. I'm gonna start this off by building my track and then laying the water in. Toes are gonna be an absolute pain in the ass. <laughs> That's taking such a long amount of time. Is it doing the other side too? Hopefully, it's doing the other side too. Yeah, it's doing. Alright. Just start the side off nice with a beautiful hairpin. Aye. Who doesn't like a good hairpin right at the start of a track? Only the best starts. Well, I mean, you get a long, long straight leading up to it. You hit, you hit the hit the line, and then it's an immediate hairpin. So your first lap's gonna be nice because you'll you won't have that much speed. Your second lap, you're gonna come flying up and probably forget about it though. <laughs> That sounds about right. <laughs> Especially for me. Didn't forget that kind of stuff.
It happens. Right. Right. Okay, see what that is now. All right. This is a mess of a track. Looks like a mess, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Can't be as messy as my white penny nightmare here. <laughs> I don't know. I think I got everything. Yeah, I got everything. And to do the big toe here, that side. I actually paint this back since. I can't. Okay. Uh, can I? No. Oh, crap. Okay. Uh, can I actually? I can't paint this, but can I paint this back? No, I can't. Okay. Paint this whole thing. Right. Oh yeah. Right. Hey, right. This is gonna be a pain in the ass because I want to add water to this yet. Oh boy. <laughs> And this already requires like really good driving lines if you want to get any sort of speed. Oh no. <laughs> well, that's how you. <laughs> that's how you. I just realized, I think the uh, pit lane's actually going to be quicker here. I'm just going to change this. Wait, that's not like a you problem. <laughs> there. So now the straightaway should be quicker because the pit lane will slow you down greatly. I wonder where I can put those bones. Let's see, so 55. 
This is going to be so fun and so bad at the same time. I see some optimization I can do here, I think. Oh, blackout back. Ah, yeah, blackout. Um, er um. I come back. Hey. He saved me I from white painting. <laughs> I didn't. Uh, I didn't sleep, but I did just uh, rest Take a nap. bed a little bit. Take a nap. <laughs> oh. <E. laughs> Blackout. Look at my screen share. How t how bad this Me. map is. Oh, I I don't even want to drive it. Are you playing the newer Trackmania? Yeah, 2020. From right here forward, the track has water all the way around to here. Bruh. For some of it, it might be helpful. For other parts, it's going to be a pain. Yeah, you're definitely. N oh, and you have constant fragile. It's gonna but sadly, suck. But sadly, I have to pay for like a trial version in order to access uh, the multiplayer club maps and such. So, why don't you just pay like the $10 or whatever it is for standard? I don't have a job. Remember, there's some people who have different situations, right? <laughs> Why don't you just get Mike to pay for it? I already, oh, yeah. I already paid for some, paid for my shit. Ugh. <laughs> <sighs> 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 oh boy. <laughs> Sorry, I had to say it. <laughs> I'm just over here just fiddling around with my uh, butterfly comb. Yo, what? Butterfly comb, it's like a butterfly knife, but it's a comb. Oh. Well then. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Blackout, I guess you also get a sneak peek to my MCFL tracks now, too. Mm. I mean, it's not like you could really participate in them because you don't have standard or anything, but... You could watch the pain of what I'm making for, up for the actual racers now. I have a feeling this pit lane's going to be used a lot on this track. <laughs> the reset to fix yourself. Yeah. Sounds well, seeing as, like seeing it. As I couldn't even make it to the first checkpoint without wrecking myself. I don't want to even imagine how someone's going to make it like three laps on this. Ah, uh, believe me, there's someone that's going to do it. <laughs> Yeah, I know. It's just gonna be d difficult, to say the least. Yeah, I 
think I'm gonna adjust those bones here. Hey, Brist, thank you for the BDs. 100 BDs. <laughs> Welcome. It's still bonus evidence stream. I love it when a person has their game set to track mania, yet they're playing like Rocket League or something. <laughs> Imagine. Hmm. Good job, you're still playing a game with a car, but you're playing the wrong game. <laughs> See this whole bone situation. It would feel more natural if like it was higher up, like up there. That would be more natural, but then it would break the uh, bending I have here. I don't need to adjust my design for it. Which is still possible. I think there is like a good compromise. I'll see if I adjust it later down the line, but uh, E. Ah, VR time. I <laughs> just not as for this. <laughs> Can't wait for this to see this completed. Also, if you see me on VRC and you have a second, my retexture was completed and I would have to show you. But sure, I'll be, I might jump on quick, like maybe in 2D mode, because um, I have to reset up my VR a little bit. And I also have work tomorrow, so I gotta have to, I need to do some things. But yeah, I might oh. hop on later. Just for like a second. This one I would um. probably go around here for I think I'll go around. I might do like one tour and then see if I can start with painting other things. Uh, 
Uh, nein. Dies, dies, dies. Point five. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, so yeah, I think like I'm just thinking for like my setup. Like I'm noticing like I'm missing a couple messages because like I'm focused on my main screen and my chat is like small on my second monitor. So I'm thinking when I'm gonna like do a little setup upgrade. At one point, most probably, um, add in like a third monitor somewhere with like bigger chat. That way, I'm not missing the messages as as often. Because <laughs> yeah, I don't want to miss your messages. I don't want to miss anyone's messages. Very stream upgrades. <laughs> if I go eat some dinner, like, probably right now. Uh, okay. Yeah, BRB. Have a good dinner. Right, uh, missing this. I'm missing that one as well. Okay, now I got, I got it on both sides. I did. Okay. Uh, point H. Getting there. All right. Point, point, point. I. I'm gonna hop out. All right. Well, thanks for tuning in and amazing skin again. From your contact. You're, you're welcome. No problem. Have a good night. You too. I'll probably hop, bounce between you and this guy I'm watching right now. Alright, fair enough. Because <laughs> I and found I... a guy streaming Trackmania right now and he said he might play my tracks with his friends, so. Oh, nice. Yeah. Go for the fun. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I gotta get them actually onto my tracks first. True. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyways, have a good night. Have a good night. Have fun. Have a good rest of your stream. Thank you. Have fun. Anytime. Later. Later. And now, back to the Avicen. And the nightmare. Of weight painting. That toy's taking five years. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. All right. There you go. There you go. There you go. I 
Actually, for this, I might do like... An in-between. Yeah, in-between seems to work fine. Because this is not like fully on the edge. So it can bend a little bit. Should be completed. Yep. A does band. Seems to work decent. Like the tool does stretch a little bit. But you can imagine the bone is like lower in the toe. Maybe a lower stuff. So I don't want to do the entire talent tonight because that's going to be a bit of a pain. And also just notice these are not panned correctly. These need to be painted here. Same with these. Bent here. There you go. So the back toe is done. Let's see if I can do the connection on top here. So the in between. Because right now it's kind of sharp. this a little bit and put uh not this this she gonna take that raise it up like here then this bends like a bit more decent and spinning like that is a bit problematic. But to find like a compromise that this does say like point forward. I think here is still points forward. Hmm. Look at my foot, like how that bends. I just won't bend too much. Hmm. Might smooth out the front a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit.
right. Now erase this slowly but surely. There we go. And blur this out. Blur it out. Now let's see how that bends. Hmm. But it's so that part is kind of complicated to actually find a way to properly bend. Because the knee needs to stay forward pointed. Like when modeling stuff, like you have puzzles absolutely everywhere. Let's say put it there instead. Makes full sense. Like this whole thing would need to be some kind of bearing instead. This whole thing needs to be some kind of bearing. Like, it bends better, but in theory, this thing needs to be down there, which causes issues with the bending of the whole thing. there for now because it seems to be the best result. The rest seems to be good though, so this bends fine, these are fine. Fine. Okay, let's try tail now. There's like 15 minutes left. I think since the tail is like full mechanical almost, it should be decently possible. Fairly possible. Okay, I just need to actually take most things here. And this is what I need to wait. Like, okay, so there's this bit here. Which I can carve for the pitch here. Like that. 
that. And now it's, yeah, it's this bit here. Need this whole assembly. This and on this. Actually, I might need Black or dirty body boil and make the bird make the bird in 3D. <laughs> what the heck? Hell retro. <laughs> How you doing? I recently finished up with a recording and I'm <laughs> starting an Odyssey channel, you know. On Odyssey, not on YouTube. <laughs> oh. <So, yeah. laughs> Hoping to stream on Odyssey when I get enough credibility. <laughs> so this bit I wanna paint this. All these feathers. Also I'm back. Ah, oh, welcome back. Yeah. Black or body body boy. And I'm gonna have to go because it's late and because I was already speaking a huge bunch when recording because Murray Kansas has me to do everything in the evening which is the night for Europeans. Europeans, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well But I have a good rest right, yes? <laughs> yeah. Well, speed, well, self talents and being. <laughs> yes. We're gonna see you later, okay, buddies? Later. Anyway, this. With this, the tail should now be fully operational. Let's take a look. Oh, I missed. <laughs> Whoopsie, Jesus. There's some white. Please go up there, thank you. Okay, so Tail can move this way using the um, pitch bone. But it can also spin around using the yaw bone. And these here needs to be planted to the yaw bone. That's a row bone. It's a row. And he does it. There you go. Y'all can spin like that. And for like some very subtle dynamic bone. Very subtle dang bone here. And very subtle here too. They're just very subtle. Very subtle dang bone, yeah. Because this is meant to be rigid here, not like. Because as you can see, they're like anchored literally with metal beams. Mm. So making them as subtle as possible, I think, would be the good call. Like, very subtle. Tiny movement. Very tiny movement, but it, it would add a bit of a of interesting things going on. Like this, actually, like this doesn't seem to have like many dynamic bones. Like it won't require like so many components. I think. Like you have like one here, a second one here. 
then three, four. Five, six. Uh, actually, it's gonna depend. I can put like over 10. Like, if I look at the VR chat, um, like documentation, uh, yes, sir, I did. You can check. Performance ranking, ranking system. Uh, yeah, for sure. With like what I have, I'm gonna have multiple skin meshes. So at minimum, the avatar is gonna be a medium, hundred percent. Maybe poor, but I'm trying to aim for medium. And with medium, I can have up to 16 uh, DB components. So I could do like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12! No, wait, 13. In total, I could have like 13 components. And I would still be a medium. But for some other games, like I remember one game that shall stay unnamed for now. Um, that game like has another, it's only a 2 and it supports up to 8. But if you put the ninth one, you can't upload. Mm. So in that case, uh, you'd have to like compromise and remove some of them. Like I would personally keep ears, tail, wings, and also the ears. Those are the ones I would keep. One, two. Ah, there's crap. There's also the hair. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then maybe the big feathers on the tail. I think that's my compromise I would do for that specific game. But, uh. Yeah, getting somewhere. Um. What else could I do? Talking. About these, so tails done, legs done, the wings are done. It, I'm still missing talons, chest, arms, and the entire head, and also the connectors and everything. So, um, yeah, wiping still takes a bit of time, but I feel like I've done a lot of progress here. Versus if I was to work on the UV unwrap. So, let me do these feathers here. Ah, uh, there you go, All right. So, these here. That's one. That's two. And that's three. There, all right, realigned. So now the rest of the head. Hmm. That's me one a heck of a thing to uh, wait me, huh? I guess I could take these, move them all the way back. Like, 
like the hand will be like most probably like fully painted. And I'm gonna address the hair after that. And Nick as well. I did also the Nick fluff. Forget about that. Did I paint the right thing? No, I painted on the wrong thing. Dang it. Wrong bone. I want to paint on this one. Don't make a blue. Your red head. Red head. It's like, the, it's like that meme. Migraines in diff different situation. Stress. Anxiety. Tiredness. White painting. <laughs> <laughs> that one me my sign the best just so readable here. <laughs> because it is actually readable. <laughs> Alright. It's a pain of white painting. Like, lucky to me, I don't have a mouth or a beak to actually white paint. Because, you know, it's like, it's just a visor beak. Like, the visor is the beak. Or the universe. It's the white painting. <laughs> Yeah, this is one of the most frustrating parts of a 3D model is like having the white paint good. But once you have it good, it's good. I'm missing something in there. That one deal. I'll just get some uh, mute chill music playing on my end. Uh, what is that vertex? Ah, those eyes. That explains it. The screens. Red. It's all fully red. That's good. Ah, uh, those feathers are going to be a pain in the arse to paint. Uh oh. Well, I'll start painting the neck. I might make some fried rice tonight, I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah, no, I did not get that one. There you go. And one is going to be the one row. Okay. 
I'll see how I paint this. That's gonna be uh, quite uh, tricky to get. So much like, to do for the white paint. But like I forgot to mention though, um, like this today I did plan on doing like a random uh, horror game stream, but I figured that was too chill to uh to do that stream. <laughs> ah. So I decided to go with Marvel on the stream instead. Wait, is that even? That's not even like less chill. So. <laughs> I'm also still in that, I think. But the thing is, the moment I like woke up in the morning, um, and uh, then I like uh, thought I might actually get too scarred from those horror games. said uh, the next feathers are gonna be a bit weird for now but I don't I'm not focusing on these right now decent um i'm gonna have to like yeah at the time it is i'm gonna have to stop the stream but uh man that's uh progress was made on the fugen surprisingly like i did not expect to do some avigen work today but uh hey yeah uh, i guess avigen work then <laughs> But yeah, I'm gonna have to uh, take a break from the stream because I have work tomorrow and I might go check what uh, Woodis has in store. So, yeah, and I do need to also go take a shower and everything. So, yeah. I, um, I could just spend the rest of my night and maybe possibly take a shower as well. I guess, yeah. Um, some stuff. But yeah, stick with me because we're gonna go raid, of course, as per usual. Um, but man, it was fun though. He must fun night. Really fun. <laughs> but yeah, so tomorrow is gonna be Avatar Mondays, so we're gonna continue working on the heavy gen again. But uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, let's go see who to raid in the meantime. Who we gonna raid? Let me uh, go see. Oh, I got my- I already got it! <laughs> Let's go say hi to me, Cor! I knew it! <laughs> you always say I knew it, by the way. Don't lie to me. No, I'm not lying. I actually knew that you were gonna raid Miko. I mean, you- if I were to say Hero Cor, he would say the exact same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Don't lie to me. <laughs> No, no, I actually, no, no, I am not lying to you. I actually knew that you're gonna raid Miko. Like, I was even, I was even knowing that you're gonna raid Miko before you actually said it. Well, you know, I could have to throw in a curveball and go to Corgi instead. <laughs> so stop assuming and trying to guess and then I do it on stream, alright? <laughs> anyway. I will see y'all tomorrow for some Abigen work. See ya, peeps. Bye.